you about the other force that was on the scene this year. You were a part of it. It was the super PAC uh, phenomenon. Started in 2010, really. Uh, came to full flower in 2012. Um, you, you helped found one, American Crossroads. A lot of debate post-election about whether the super PAC uh, phenomenon really helped Republicans as much as people thought. Did it? Did it not? Was money misspent? How do you think it, that process moves going forward? Well, look, first of all, we've had super PACs on the Democratic side for years. We call them unions and liberal interest groups like the League of Conservation Voters, Sierra Club, the NAACP Voter Fund, the, you know, the uh, uh, Planned Parenthood, uh, uh, the National Abortion Rights Action League, and a whole bunch of other liberal groups. And they had the wherewithal to be there in the good years and the bad. We had a good year with super PACs in 2010 and helped, the, helped Republicans win a lot of races that they would not otherwise have, have won. This year, we obviously didn't have that same success at the polls, but nonetheless, super PACs played an important role. For example, in Ohio, President Obama outspent the Romney campaign on TV 79 million to 49 million. In Ohio, 75, excuse me, Florida, 75 million to 48 million. Nevada, 24 million to 12 million. Colorado, 31 million to 18 million. New Hampshire, 23 million to 7 million. If that kind of spending imbalance had been allowed to, to uh, exist without any uh, you know, without any super PAC participation, then we would have had a complete blowout from top to bottom. But as it was, the super PACs, particularly during that interregnum when Romney was out of money in May, June, and July, and August, helped even the race up and ma make it closer than it would have otherwise been. But look, the important thing is for these super PACs to be run eff efficiently. American Crossroads overhead was less than 3%. It paid, it, or excuse me, less than less than 1.7 percent. It paid the media guys only three percent. It put more, better than 95 cents out of every dollar raised on the target. Groups that run themselves with a strict accountability and a transparency to their donors like that are going to continue to be around on the center right side, and well, they should be because the unions are not going away and the liberal groups are not going to go away. They didn't go away after 2004. They didn't go away after 2010. We shouldn't go away after 2012. And believe you me talking to the benefactors of American Crossroads, we won't be going away. They're in it for the long haul, and their attitude is beat them next time.